everyone welcome back to Bobini Creates I'm Jeannie here today to show you my August finished pages which I always look forward to both filming these and watching yours these are just just so much so much fun so let's start off with the new book Maria Trolley's universe so now well there's new images in here I chose to do one of her older images which is from Luna and this is done with all Prisma colors and um, I, I really like the way she came out and I enjoyed, you know, putting this together. Super fun. All right. And next up is from the new book, Spooky. And the image that I chose to color here is of the Spooky's cute little hat and um, turning this room all sort of magical <laughs> and for this I use Prisma colors and I used Tombow's on just a few of the items for a base layer I used um, Arteza watercolor pencils for the swirls along with some ink tense pencils that I activated um, let's see what else I put the folk art uh, glitter paint over the top of the swirls just to give it a little bit of an accent and you might see a little bit of sparkle on the um, the books you know I have gel pen glitter gel pens there as well and let's see what else did I use I don't remember if I said it or not but chalk pastels for the background so I enjoyed putting this piece together as well. The The floor wasn't there, so I drew that in, and the swirls weren't there. I put those in as well. So I think it looks pretty doggone magical. <laughs> okay, and I've got several from Lulu Mayo books. So the first one is from A Million Kawaii Cuties. And this one... I had such a blast coloring this it just was it came together just really well and I'm pleased with the the overall look but you can see I used some of the pearlescent paint for the Sun and the waves here and a little bit on the clouds and then I used um, a gold paint pen for the collars I guess those are maybe what those are and the rest of it's all Prismacolor Premier. And next up, we have A Million Sea Creatures. And in this one, I used my Sioux Color pencils for everything um, except for the background. What did I use there? I used the um, crayon, the watercolor crayons and um, just soften that up a bit and I like the way that came out I've got a little bit of sparkle on her tail and that again is that folk art um, paint so yeah I, I enjoyed this one as well okay and I have also this is my last um, Lulu Mayo book for the month and this is a million little monsters so on this one i did the title page i'll bring this a little closer these books are so small but i did the title page and this is tombow and uh, prismacolor and i think that's it yeah i believe that's it on this one but i i used the same um dark background that they did sort of the navy colors but the characters I just did however I wanted to complete those so I like that one and then the next one I I had such a good time doing this but it took me forever I followed along a tutorial with um, my colorful country life and I'm just really happy with the way this one turned out this is all Prismacolor pencils um this 
jelly roll pens for some of the glitter that you'll see in there. She used Winkastella on part of it. I was away from my house and I didn't have my Winkastella with me, so I just continued to use the jelly roll gel pens, you know, for for those glossy bits as well. And I was glad that I followed along on this. It it was it it was just a good experience overall and I love her coloring. If you haven't checked her out, by all means do. Her her channel's lovely. Okay, and then I've got a a really old one here. This is Hocus Pocus by Deborah Muller. And in this one, um, I'm almost done with it, but so I needed to kind of complete just a couple more pages. Um, so really, I keep these simple. These are just alcohol markers with a little bit of Prisma over the top. And um, I did add a little bit of acrylic paint and a is same thing. Alcohol markers, Prisma, and a little bit of Posca for her, the strands in her hair. And um, I may go back later and add a little bit of glitter to this, but for now, I, I think she's looking pretty fine. <laughs> pretty cute. Okay, and then the next one, if you saw my last video, I was talking about doing a challenge. Let me grab some, well, actually, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I, yeah, I am. <laughs> Um, a new challenge for September and then, you know, the following months as well. And it's hashtag three of a kind, September 23. So what this is, is um, just introducing the idea of completing three pages a month in the same coloring book of your choice that you want to work towards finishing a book. So I made a video about that and I did share some of these pages just really fast so I'll I'll go ahead and show those to you again this one I used um, Crayola crayons and some paint pen for the gold accents here and you know on the inside of the the little border um, and that is and a little bit of um, oxide ink to do a little bit of soft shading in the middle. This is interesting. I don't know what this sort of crack is here, but markers don't color it and, excuse me, don't don't cover it up and neither do pencils. So I have no idea what that was, but we're just going to roll with it and pretend like we don't see that. And then here's my title page. And this is just uh, a little bit of Tombow and Prismacolor as well. I may come back later and do a background, but I'm per perfectly fine just leaving it the way it is also. Um, this one, I have a video on this one. This one was using uh, Crayola Super Tips and Crayola pencils and um, a little bit of gel pen for, you know, some of the, I don't know that any of those are sparkle gel pen, maybe not. But just to sort of, you know, maybe a little bit of um, the smaller Posca to get into some of the, the smaller places here. But I like this the way this turned out for it being Crayola uh, Super Tips. All right. And that was that one. And then I have this one was Prismacolor Pencil, some stickles, and... A little bit of gel pen here and there but mostly just prismacolor but this one has some some neat shimmer to it and um, this one i got the inspiration for these little swirls here from um it was a, a page i saw on on pinterest and i just thought it was a neat idea and so i used different colors and whatnot but i i thought it was a good fill in for the bottom space here. So I was glad I did that. And I like the way this one turned out as well. Sort of magical, you know. And then this one I used was Sioux Color Pencils. I used my gold paint pen. Um, I used a little tiny little bit of Tombow for the shelving and acrylic paint with a stencil for the border. So um, this was super easy. Oh, and the background is Arteza watercolor pencils. So yeah, 
this one I felt like the the background was just a little too plain and it just needed a little bit of something added to it so I think that that sort of fit the bill and then this is another page that I have a, a video color along or color color and chat rather um, I used the Crayola super tips and my Prisma colors on this and um, I love the color combination I just think it it really came together well and I've got one more in this book and that is this one and this is with um, some Tombow in the background and other than that just let's see Prismacolor and a little bit of gel pen for the dots and some stickles so let me hold this one up so you can see the the shimmer because we're all about the sparkles in this community aren't we so I think that turned out nice and the little soft yellow background that you see there is just again the Prismacolor pencils and then my last book of the month is I only completed two in my 50 stylish mandalas by Camellia Angelkova and the color palette is really pretty much the same for both on this one um, just sharpies and some metallic um, paint pen or markers rather and then this is just sharpies but I like just the the contrast between that navy blue and some of the the lighter bits there and the limited palette I think also helps it just sort of come together so that was fun I really need to work more in this book I just had fun in my other books I have to tell you <laughs> so I want to thank you so much for joining and I hope you'll follow along in the challenge